Hello mm. and welcome to the Human Show. I am your host, Mike Juliard, and I'm just joined by JJ Craig today. Good day. Good day, JJ. And we're also live on mixlr.com slash podit, or you can just go to podit.net and it will show you the live thing. You have to scroll down uh, and hit play. So, um, just me and JJ today. Don't go to podit.net, JJ, because you'll hear us and it will be confusing for you. Okay, <laughs> okay. I won't do that. How um how has your week been? What have you been up to? Well, loads of stuff. Uh, it was was it New Year's? That was that was the week just gone. It was New Year's. Yes, uh, the New Year started, which was very exciting. Fireworks and such. Um, alcohol was consumed. How much cubic meters of alcohol? I I can't recall. I'm afraid. I won't be able to recall that. Um, but I enjoyed I the evening. You, I can tell you exactly how much I drank. Oh, how much you drank? Go for I it. I only drank two beers. I don't. I just wasn't feeling alcoholism. You weren't feeling alcoholism. I just wasn't feeling like drinking, so I only drank two. Anyway, carry on with your week. Um, what was what was this? Uh, it was. Monday. First day was Monday. Thursday was Monday. No, the first day. The first day was Monday. What did you do on Monday or this week generally, other than New Year? Um, I played some games. Bro, that's exactly what I need to hear. Um, I I bought things. I, I didn't buy, buy as many things in the sale because not as many. It wasn't on sale. The sale wasn't on. The sale ended on. Thursday. The second. Yeah. I bought uh, Age of Empires 2 HD pack Did, with... But not on the sale? Um, I think it was on sale. It was, it was, there was, it wasn't, I didn't pay full price for it. Well, that's, that implies something for sure. Definitely. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry, edit that out. No, well, we're um, live, can't edit out. Oh, sh... <laughs> Uh, what else happened? Uh, uh, Age of Empires 2 HD, I played that, was it last night or the night before? I remember we were talking while you were playing it, that was a couple of nights ago. Um, and I won by building a wonder. Oh yeah, I remember that time. And it took me 200 years. You know, that's not the longest it's taken. No. I always remember... I would always just build a shit ton of villages, or whatever they were called, and just make them all work on it. But there's a maximum of people that could work on it, aren't there? Um, was there? A, oh yeah, okay. Oh and yeah, I guess. There's a maximum amount of units you can have generally, isn't there? Uh, yes. Well, they've 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 um, put that up in the new HD pack. Of course, yeah. I guess I guess the problem more was. Like resources and entities and stuff on the screen mm. at one time. My phone won't stop vibrating. Shush, phone. Um, have you ever played Cossacks? Speaking of of uh, RTSs. No, I haven't. Cossacks: The Art of War is probably the best RTS I've ever played. Should I buy it? I would. The problem is, is um. It's great for like playing against AI. I have it. I would try and play with you, but I've tried playing with my brother before, and we just cannot f figure out the service though. Oh. So, so we can't play together. But that's a really cool game. Uh, it's based in. I can tell you what time period, but there's guns. Okay. But like, it's also swords. Like, it's the time when guns were just starting to be used. All oh, right. Okay. So I guess just after Age of Empires, kind of. Well, Age of Empires starts in the Stone Age, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. It goes to, like, the Iron Age. Anyway, what about anything Anyways. else? Age of Empires? Age of Empires. Um, I tried to play GTA V, right? You know, in the single-player missions, there's, there's like, different, like, sub-missions, like, in, inside, like, beat this guy in the race. Yeah. Uh, get this many headshots, stuff like that. I yeah. tried to go through levels, like from the beginning, replaying them so I can get like 100% kind of thing. 
but it takes so long it and you really can't is. you can't restart a mission from inside the mission you have to finish it you have to fail and then start it again. yeah well you have to fail and then it loads your current single player game so it loads like oh, Michael in his yeah, house at the end back and, doing, yeah. and then you have to say no I want to go back and do that again so you've got to select it in the menu which is slow as it is and go back and it's such a faff I tried it once my PS3 froze that game and, as much as it's a great game it still has its hiccups yeah and I think I will only be ever I might play single player through again because I chose the wrong ending yeah, me too. Uh, but I, I'm tempted to just wait and see if it does come to a PC rather than yeah. I suppose I'm gonna yeah. Because I want to play it through on my PC again. Yeah. Because the better graphics. Hmm. I guess from, multiplayer. Yeah. Apart from that, I'll just be playing multiplayer from now on. Yeah, probably. Actually, my PS3 is still in my backpack from when I went to go visit my family. That's how little I use it. At least you don't have an Xbox. At least I don't have an Xbox. What's wrong with Xbox? Don't say that, bro. I'll say whatever I darn well want to say. Whoa. You know what um, I've realised? What have you realised? In terms of the live streaming of the podcast, yeah. my mic is always on. It's not a case of me pressing my push to talk button. Oh, okay. So, so I need it's to be not... careful with belching and things. <laughs> I did burp at one point, and I apologise oh. profusely. Profusely, you can edit that out in the past. I don't plan on doing so. Okay. Fuck the police. Whoa. So uh, it's GTA and Age of Empires. That's a pretty good week in my opinion. And I also downloaded. There's more. Peg Peggle on my iPad. Peggle Peg one. Peggle HD actually. It's Peggle one in HD. It just says Peggle HD. So I guess it's not Peggle two, which is a uh, exclusive for the Xbox One. It won't be that, no. Absolutely not, because you're playing on an iPad. Is your Indeed. iPad an iPad Mini 2? It's iPad the latest one? one that came out. The latest one, nice. Yeah. How's that Retina display? Um, to be honest, uh, I don't really care for a Retina display. Mm. Hannah's doesn't I don't... have Retina display, but it looks just as good as... Yeah. Like... <laughs> on things that are very high definition. Yeah. And a That's lot of what things it is. Aren't very high definition. No, if you want to zoom in on the menu, like on the home screen, absolutely go for it. That would look brilliant. Brilliant. But what would you feel if they released a 4K display on a tablet? What's the point? It's going to be a big tablet. No, mate. Just a really fucking high resolution. <laughs> screen. And it would actually just be real life. Like, Real life. a tablet that just has, like, it's nothing, it's just a frame. It's just a frame? Apps. Yeah. It's, you can't do anything. You have to put it over an iPad if you want to play apps. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds brilliant. We're onto something. Twenty nine ninety nine. That's a great price for a tablet. Call it thirty nine ninety nine. Well, I don't know. Thirty nine for the, uh, for the HD version. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. The non-HD version would just have some sort of, like, uh, film going over it, like, saran yeah. wrap that would distort the view of the slightly. <laughs> this is a great idea. But, yeah, so you, uh, you what, what game? Peggle, what is Peggle? Tell Peggle. Me what Peggle is. Uh, how do you explain it? It's, it's like, oh, um, you know, Buster Move. Ah, uh, okay. Where you have to match, it's not like that. Don't, yeah. Do you know Buster, Buster Move? Move? I remember Buster Move from when, yeah. I, when I was a kid. Playing it on the, I don't know, PS1? The what one? PlayStation 1. Yes. Um, speaking of PlayStation 1, hey, did you ever play Bubsy 3D? Bubsy? Bubsy. No. God, it's a weird game. You can play <laughs> in your browser now. Oh, wow. Google Bubsy 3D and it's there. Bubsy 3D. Don't do it right now. I'm you doing it right now. You want. Okay, go for it. <laughs> Bubsy 3D available in your browser you know what I played this week what did you play this week I tried out Daisy with uh, with our with uh, your friend and mine Neil Williamson I know him yeah tried some Daisy with him and uh, Alex and Matt a couple of friends were his 
and it's great. I was at the edge of my seat for a large portion of the time. Yeah. And I'm really glad that the standalone is a thing. I feel like I'm about to cry. Oh. Um, so that's really cool. And there's still so many improvements they need to make on it. But it's pretty alpha, so what are you going to do? What you know, are you going to do? I played. Uh, where else did you play? Guess. I want you to guess. Um, I think I know. I think okay. I know, bro. I know, though. What? Rust. That is exactly what I was going to say. How did I know that? Right, because I texted you saying I played it. Did you? I believe so. I don't think you replied, so maybe you didn't. Oh, I, 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 re- re- listened, I listened to your text that said that you watched pause, pause, unpause, play it. Listen. I, li- I listened to your text, yeah. How did you do that? Magic, bro. It wasn't you, even a text. I, is that serious, or did you actually read it? No, I read it. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, does he use some sort of text to speech or something? <laughs> Although Siri can do that. Siri, read Mike's text. And it will. Nice. So, yeah, Rust is cool. Uh, it'll be good with more like with people playing with people. That's the same with Daisy though. Um, yeah. But it's just a it's a really cool little thing they've got going. Apparently, the map is only sixteen by sixteen kilometers, which isn't huge. Okay. No. But it's still pretty big. Yeah. Um, and I mean, I guess if you're running at like if you're if you're moving at like five kilometers per hour that's still three hours to get from one side of the map to the other which yeah which is a long 3k time. an hour is, is pretty much average they're running aren't they you can run uh but it depletes your food more all right but it's uh running on unity and i love that games are developers are adopting unity because it just seems to be a really cool smooth engine dead linger runs on unity yeah that's not a good game no, not yet. It might be but the in the engine future. Is good, and therefore it has potential. But Rust is a survival game, uh, inspired by Daisy and Minecraft, and you can really tell that it. it I feel that like it's just a crossover between the two. You yeah. Chop down trees. Like with, you can with, in Minecraft. With, yeah. You can build houses like you can in Minecraft. Yeah. And you can shoot motherfuckers like you can in Daisy. Yes. You can so, indeed shoot them. Play Rust.com for that. Twenty dollars on Steam. Bargain. It was twenty-five dollars in the Yogscast bundle. Oh. With uh, with about six other games, I got that. But you missed it. Too late. So Damn. Rust Daisy in a survival game theme. Prison Architect, not a survival game, but I play that a lot. Yeah, I know. Oh, I played something else. I started. The Bioshock DLC. All right. So is that is that more story? It's not more story. It's alternative story. Okay. Without so going it's... into too much, it's it's yeah. still Booker and Elizabeth. Okay. But you're in Rapture instead of Columbia. Right. And it's alternative story. What is Rapture? Rapture is the the the, the area from one and two where you're underwater. Oh, okay. I haven't played them. No, it's DLC, as I said. Yes. $20 gets you the um, Season Pass, which is all the future DLC. Okay. And that comes, at the moment, that's Under the Sea Episode 1, which is the bit I was talking about. And then there's uh, there's also, I can't remember what it's called, but it's um, it's like Horde Mode kind of thing. Right, yeah, that sounds good. But I'm not a fan of... Honestly, Bioshock Infinity Infinite, sorry, is one of my favourite games ever made. I'm just not... I don't feel that the shooting mechanics are good enough to warrant having that kind of... Ah. Uh, no, kind yeah. Of, you know. I get I get that. But it's still cool. If there was some sort of multiplayer aspect, that'd be good. Like, you could play two people. Someone plays as Elizabeth. Yeah, that would be cool. I really like that game. <laughs> I know, bro. I'm just going to tell you that now. <laughs> so that's cool. I don't think I played anything else. My New Year's Eve was cool. Went downtown. Sat at a bar. Downtown. Where are all the um, things are I just held back about? Okay. Yeah. That's so professional. So, moving on. What happened in the news? Let me tell you right now. 
absolutely nothing. Oh. It's the first week of the year. Not even the first week of the year. No one's come back to work yet. Nobody's doing nothing yet. Let me bring up Reddit. See what's on the front page of our games. Um, Steam OS got an update. Just you don't anything with Steam OS yet, bro? No, I haven't. It doesn't support AMD. Oh, okay. Um, a poll was taken. Will the Elder Scrolls Online uh, subscription prevent you from buying it? A lot of people are saying the fact that the game looks terrible will prevent me from buying it. Oh. That's not good. I thought it looked pretty good. I played it and it was actually really cool. But I can't say anything because I agreed to an NDA, but I don't really care. It was really good. Yes. I wish I would have been able to play it. Well, I kind of. I, I buy don't. power. Do you know why I buy power? No. It's a uh, computer manufacturer, like Alienware. They build huge gaming PCs. Okay. Uh, at CES, which is going on at the moment. Well, I guess it's finishing because it was over the weekend, I believe. CES, uh, iBuyPower announced their new Steam machine. $499. Let's see what's inside it. They only plan on making Steam machine around the size of a PS4 and slightly smaller than an Xbox One. That will include a multi-core AMD processor. 500 gigabyte hard drive. We're not sure if this will be an SSD, but very doubtful, because a 500 gigabyte SSD is about $500. Uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, AMD Radon R9 270 graphics card, no idea. But the card alone is $180, so that's pretty good. Yeah. That's not bad. 499 for that. Basically a mini computer running through Steam OS. It's pretty, well... Can, you oh. must be able to put your own OS on, so you could just install could, Windows yeah, on you it. Could, you could yeah. chuck Windows on there if you want. Absolutely. Mm. It's an open machine. You can even open it and put in a new graphics card, processor, hard drive, whatever you want. It's a, it's a computer. It's a computer. That's running the Linux operating system, the, the oh. Steam operating system. Ah. Which is awesome. I'm happy to see yeah. companies are adopting that. What else we got here? The Dead Linger has released a dev vlog. Uh, bicycles will be added before the first quarter of the year is finished. Bicycles? Bicycles. Don't you think they should, like, fix the shooting, shooting zombies? I think the fact is, and I think that this is where game developers are struggling when they release their games at this point. When game developers release their game in alpha, everyone just wants it to be playable. Yeah. But the problem is, is Alpha, generally speaking, in a video game's life singer, if you went to EA and watched them make Battlefield 5, yeah. Alpha is when they're adding features. The beta is when they fix the features that are broken. Right. So right now all these games are in Alpha and the developers just want to keep adding features so they can fix them in beta. But everyone's like, no, 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 fix the game, I want to play it. And they're like, uh... oh, no, that's not how it works. Fallout 3 is set to have Game for Windows Live removed from the PC version. Sorry? Say again? Do you, do you have Fallout 3 on PC? Yes. Uh, when you when you open it, you have to use Game for Windows Live. Um, do I? Well, apparently. Okay. Yes. Well, it's due to be removed in the future. Praise Jesus. Which is always fun. Yes. Why can't they just do that with every game? They are starting to. A lot of games are. Good. Because Game for Windows Live is being discontinued. 20% of Steam users now use Windows 8 and 8.1. Steam users use... Oh, really? 20%. Yeah. This is just me reading news stories, isn't it? Isn't it, though? Okay, here's an article that might be interesting. So Rust, the game we were talking about earlier, is developed by the same guy and his team as Gary's Mod. Uh-huh. Um, and Gary Newman, the guy, 
has written an article regarding the difference between the launches of the two games. Right. Rust did amazingly better. I don't know why that's surprising, though. Hmm. Uh... It changed my life overnight. In Rust's first two weeks, it sold just over 150,000 copies. There you go. Ah. <laughs> this is a rather boring episode of the podcast. <laughs> and so much for this whole new us going to be more prepared thing. That's what I find funny is last week we were like, yeah, we're going to be more prepared this week. We're not going to ramble like we do. But pe- who is it that was supposed to turn up? Let's dob them in. Yeah, let's fucking dob them in. Let me open the document. Docs Who are we in. never going to invite ever again? Right, so the two people that were supposed to be here. Neil couldn't make it. He has a family, uh, not emergency, but something to do with his family. Okay, that's acceptable. I'll let that's him off. acceptable, and he told me about a week ago. That's fine. Dan, uh, your friend and mine, Dan Shelton, oh, friend of the show, Dan, Dan Shelton. But he doesn't do anything. But he doesn't do anything. He always tells us, I'll never be late for the podcast because I don't do anything. Come on, Dan. Get it together, man. Get it together, what? Dan. And man. Uh, a guy called Kev. Not Kev that doesn't show up, but a different Kev that doesn't show up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? What? If anybody called Kev decides they want to be on the podcast, they are immediately rejected. From Rejected? No Goodness one is me. ever allowed on the podcast if their name is Kev. Goodness me. Heed my warning. What about if um, Kevin McLeod? Who's that? I recognise the name. He's a, he's an internet musician, isn't he? Uh, British. Oh no, he's the guy from um, uh, uh, the the designs. <laughs> signs. Grand designs. Oh, oh yeah. If he if he asked to come on the show, I he can't. No. Um. Why would I want Kevin McLeod on the show? Uh, he... Kevin, Kevin McDonald, isn't he a um, uh, a character in uh, Coronation Street? Absolutely not. Or is idea. he Trevor McDonald? No, Trevor McDonald is someone else. I recognise the name Trevor McDonald. He's a newsreader. Okay. But yeah, he... no one called Kevin is allowed on the show. Yeah. Without, I don't know. Maybe I'll change my mind. <laughs> Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon would definitely be allowed on the show. Kevin Clifton, whoever that is. He's oh, a dancer know. from... Uh, of course he is. Uh, and of course, Kevin Hart, the comedian. Him. He's okay. comedian. Oh, he's the, he's the black, guy, black guy. Yes. From 30 Rock. Probably. I think he's the guy in 30 Rock. Right. Well, if he was to come on... Kevin, what was his name? Hart. Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart, if you're listening... You are absolutely more than welcome on the show. I'm receiving a phone call. Let's broadcast this phone call. Okay. Hello. Yep, this is Michael. Oh, okay. I've actually been offered a different position. I'm afraid uh, I'm not really looking anymore. Thank you. Sorry about that. Oh, there's a guy offering me a job in Washington. I heard, I heard, bro. Did you hear the whole phone call? I, well, pretty much, I could, I could kind of get the gist of it, yeah. Yeah, he offered me you told, an interview uh, for a job. You told him where to go, didn't you? I told him where to go. I was tempted uh, to ask, and then I thought, you know what, I've just been offered a really good job, so I don't need some shitty job anymore, like I was applying for. So I can just, you know, do what I fucking want. Do what the fuck you want, bro. I think you might be able to hear my roommate laughing and shouting in the background. Kind of, kind of, yeah. I don't quite know what he's laughing at. <laughs> Every so often, he'll just burst into laughter. <laughs> I don't get it. Anyway, any other news? Um, I don't think so. Would you rather uh-huh. be able to fly? Or turn invisible. I'd rather fly. 
You'd rather fly? Yeah. Have you seen the film Chronicle? No. I love that film. They can fly. Interesting. Okay, well that was rather climactic. <laughs> I really thought you'd have to think about it. No, no, I'd I rather fly. To, um, I was listening to a podcast, This American Life, they discuss that question. What would you rather? I would rather, I think, be able to fly. It depends how fast you can fly. I guess, like Superman, there's two, I guess. There's two questions on each thing. If you turn invisible, do your clothes turn invisible? Nah. And if you then fly, you have to be... how fast can you fly and how high can you fly? Because well, if you're I... going fast, like if you go above a certain speed, and if you go above a certain height, like if you go above a certain height, you can't breathe. If you go above a certain speed, you're going to start freezing. Hmm. And if you can't, if your clothes don't turn invisible, then what's the point? You have to be invisible everywhere naked. That'd be a bit weird. Would like, be a bit if, weird. If suddenly your invisibility power ran out, you'd just be naked <laughs> standing there. Yeah. But then again, if your suddenly flying ability ran out, you'd just fall to the ground and die. Hmm. I think I'd fly everywhere with a parachute. Yeah, that's smart. I would I would invest in a parachute. I bet they're Which, really expensive. Well, I reckon if you could fly, there's probably a few ways you can make money. <laughs> You know, I didn't even skywriting, skywriting. Uh, yeah, skywriting. I could bring like a, like some deodorant or something and. Spray yeah. It spray. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure that's better. Chemicals. You could pay for like the people could pay you for flights. You can strap like a chair to your back or something. That sounds really painful. Oh, baby. Yeah, that's another maybe thing. You could... like, that would imply you'd have to have some sort of super strength for that. I guess. Maybe yeah. Maybe I can fly, but I can really just carry my own weight. Or you could just really, like, carry how much you could carry anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. I can carry, like, yeah. what I'd be able to. And does that mean after fl after flying for a couple of hours, I'd start getting tired? Like, oh. if I walk for a couple of hours... Like I'm running or a bit, walking? A bit yeah. Maybe it all depends on how fast you go. Perhaps. I have another bit of news. Let's Whoa. This is good. Okay. Because I was listening to this, this podcast, and... Uh, they were saying how it that 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 question proves what kind of a person you are, right? Because if you want to fly, it means you want to kind of show off how amazing you are. If you want to be if you want to be invisible, it means you want to hide yourself away. Ah, it's interesting. So I thought I'd ask you, and then I'd make fun of you if you wanted to hide yourself away. Well, the reason I would want to fly is because I've always dreamt of flying. It would be quite when I when I was little. I remember. When, it, when you blow the candles out on your birthday cake. That's what you'd wish for. That's what I'd wish for. That is glorious. I don't remember what I'd wish for. It's a bit sad. Hmm. Here's another bit of news for you. Yes. Right faces. League of Legends, Battle.net, Dota 2, EA and Cub Penguin servers are all DDoS'd by a group called Derp. Oh, I heard about this. Any games the at the... Uh, Gentleman known as Phantom Lord, who is a streamer via the Twitch televisions. Any website, sorry, any game he tries to play, get DDoS by these this group. Wow. And what are the group called again? They are called Derp. Brilliant. Derp trolling at Derp trolling is their Twitter. Oh. Um, Good. That's ridiculous. I'm glad that, the, that I heard on BBC News or the BBC News app. I heard that they um, they DDoSed um, League. Yeah, they, like they hacked League. League. They've also DDoSed in the past 21 hours. They did Ubisoft. Oh, good. Um, let's see. Scrolling through. Um, Xbox Live. All right, PSN. I don't think so. No. Oh. Maybe they didn't want to. That's the thing. The, the the problem with companies or groups like this is. Um. Wow. EA. Oh, EA parody. Okay, I thought it was actually EA. <laughs> it said uh, they said please stop attacking us with a cherry available as paid DLC on top, so as if they were offering them. Oh, uh, right. free DLC. Ah. Um. What was I saying? 
Yeah, the problem with groups like this is that they yes. think that they're, they're good guys. Oh. And everyone laughs at what they're doing. But they're actually... It doesn't take a smart guy to know how to DDoS. Wow. Does it? No. Um, and no, it doesn't. It doesn't. It just takes a guy with a bit of money. You need a bit of money to, to have servers. Oh. So it's a shame because these guys are assholes. Oh. Speaking of assholes, do you yeah. remember? Do you remember? Um, do you remember Kim dot com? Kim, the guy of the website. No. Mega Share. Oh, Mega Share, yeah. He's the guy that made Mega Share. Okay. When Mega Share got shut down by the police. Right. And he made Mega dot co dot nz instead. Okay. Well, he, I watched a documentary about him, 20 minute documentary. Uh huh. He seems, honestly, like a fucking awesome dude. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm usually pretty against piracy. But from what, I mean, of course, he's not going to admit it, so whether or not it's true, I don't know. But of course, he said, like, that he didn't know there was piracy going on in his service. Like, it's not his job to regulate the piracy. If he found that something was illegal, he'd get rid of it. Yeah. Um,. And it turns out, at the time that Mega Share was being shut down, he was the top Call of Duty player in the world. Goodness. That's just such a weird thing. <laughs> the guy's a billionaire. And he he's plays... the top Call of Duty player in the world. Wow. He wow. just seems like a pretty awesome dude. Uh, yeah. Later on this year, Mega allegedly will be releasing their own communication platform, similar to Skype. Ah. Which is also quite cool. But we won't be losing, using that though, will we? I'll give it a go, why not? Why not? Give it a go. Nothing's going to get me away from Skype. The thing is, the reason people use services is because everyone they know uses it. Yeah. So, no one's going to switch to this because no one uses it. It's, you know, That's the problem with technology and... Like Google+. Plus. No one uses Google+, Plus because no one uses Google+. Plus. Yes. <laughs> Biggest problem with Google+. Plus. I'd use Google Plus if people use Google Plus. Absolutely. I don't like Facebook. No, neither do I. It's full of idiots. Absolutely. My so, friends. What? Yeah, what else is there to talk about? Well. Oh, you've got something. I've actually found. I, I read about this uh, earlier on in the week. Um, you know bitcoins? I do. Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't really follow bitcoins like the market or anything I like that. I don't quite like. I don't quite get how it works, but I'm no. aware of what they are. In a yeah. Um. A new currency, kind of like bitcoins, is, is it um, coins? no. Because that's is, one. is is set to launch. It's better than that. Um. Do 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 do, do you want to know what it's called? I wouldn't say no to knowing. It's called Coinye West. Um, that is the greatest thing on earth. <laughs> is it uh, made by Kanye West? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure he has nothing to do with it. It's just some weird trolls. Yeah. It's amazing. Oh, oh, Dogecoin. Apparently is another thing. thing. Yeah. I don't get it. Like, I just, no. I don't get it. Why is one Bitcoin worth $500? <laughs> um, uh, it's it's just, worth about $850 at the moment. What, is Bitcoin? Yeah, well, 3rd of January. It, crashed. it was 1000 and then it crashed and went down to 500 Because 520... China said that they would be banning the Bitcoin in China. Oh, yes. So that made the because China like basically runs the global economy at this point. My cousin had bitcoins quite early on, and Ooh. he he um he was he he would like look at the bitcoin market and and see if he could get some kind of um yeah he got 
he's I think he got about five pounds, and he thought, oh yeah, that that sounds pretty good. I'll I'll trade in my bitcoins and get five pounds back. And he, he like, originally spent like a pound or something. Like some I don't know, like a week later, if he had kept his bitcoins, he would have been like tens of thousands of pounds. Because there's there's different ways of hosting bitcoins. Yeah. You can host them on your own computer, or you can host them in a bitcoin wallet. I have like 0.01 bitcoins, which is worth like 12 cents. Cash that in, bro. Cash that in. I got it for free as well. When I signed up to this website, they gave me free bitcoins. Wow. Um. So I... But so that was hosted on their service, not on my computer. But there was a guy who had something like a thousand bitcoins on his external hard drive. Oh yeah, I heard about and this. He threw that away. Yeah. And maybe it wasn't a thousand. It was worth six point five million dollars. God blimey! And he threw it away, and uh, and then a few weeks later, that's when it skyrocketed. So the guy went to the garbage dump to look for yeah. Look for his stuff. That's that's horrible though. Can you imagine that? Oh, we're disgusting. I'd hate that. Yeah. You'd just feel sick to your stomach, wouldn't you? It's not even necessarily that you'd sold them. Yeah. Even, like, the fact that you know that they're still kind of available to you if you go and search in a big uh, dump. Would you dig through garbage for $6.5 million? I think I would, yes. Well, if I... If there was a chance of finding it, yeah. If there was, yeah, if there was a, a chance that you wouldn't, would you? Well, if there's a chance I would, then there's a chance I wouldn't. True. Wise words. Mm. Maths. Maths is fun. So, um, at the end of the podcast, like now, we what? usually discuss... Well, I thought we were kind of rounding off to, do we have anything else to talk about I think so I just don't want to be rambling like we always end up doing rambling about random things what happens to core online what is core online Square what is cloud gaming free gaming streaming website and then discontinued it well, that's funny oh. Square Enix the company behind I guess this was a while ago uh, Square Enix is company behind Final Fantasy series, I believe. Right. And they bought Core Online, which is a streaming platform, and then shut it down. Oh. It's a shame. It is. I don't know why companies do that. It's actually fairly common. I just don't get why. Hmm. Well, anyway, at the end of the podcast, we'd like to discuss the next week's game releases. It's Sunday now. When is next week? The next 6th. Is the 6th, yep. Yeah. Uh, to the what? To... The 12th. To the 12th. Now, all the game releases I found here, I start from the 13th okay. of January. So that's there's none coming out next week? Nothing big anyway? I don't think so. No. No, nothing. Can't see anything. That's a shame. But it's good to have a week to not be spammed by things I wish I could buy. And things I will buy but never play. Yes. 197 games on Steam so far. It changes depending on what computer I'm logged into, which I just don't understand. (laughs) Uh, But on that note, with nothing else left to say... It's time for JJ to play us out. Oh, you can find this podcast. I, I, You're never ready. You can find this podcast at podit.net. It's not on iTunes because I'm too lazy to get on iTunes. But I will get it on iTunes eventually. Podit.net. Uh, P-O-D-D-I-T.net. I'm just kind of filling right now because JJ is taking his time. Um... If you know anyone who makes a podcast oh. and wants it on podit.net and needs someone uh. to host it, they can contact us through the YouTube comments or something. Uh, or. Oh, okay. Thank you very much for listening and have a wonderful week.
Bye. Perfect. <laughs>